I can't breathe in this thing. <laughs> My goodness me, no wonder David Prowse is grumpy. <laughs> oh. 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 Hey, oh. Hi. That was oh, fun. No. Alrighty, who's excited to talk about Star Wars? Yeah. Yeah. We are too, and I'm very excited to be out of that. I like combed my hair beforehand, and that was... So this is... Steve Evans. Hang on, I've got to catch up now. Hello, yes, I'm Steve Evans, Design Director for Hasbro. Welcome, welcome to our little show. Absolutely. My name is Patrick Schneider. I'm Senior Brand Manager for Hasbro Star Wars, and we've had a great uh, few days here at New York Comic Con. We've been here for about four days. Uh, seems like longer and shorter <laughs> so at the same time. Uh, we had, What's that? Yeah. We had some great uh, media desk sides on uh, Thursday, met with a lot of great fan groups. I uh, see some of them in the crowd, some great media outlets. I uh, got Woo! some news out. I know it was a lot of fun. Yeah, thank, you. Uh, oh, thank you. That's good. Uh, Friday, we had a live stream on Sci Fi uh, where we revealed some more items. But uh, we're excited for this, the big kahuna. We've got a lot of exciting news to share. The, I think the, well, the only thing is, yeah, it's, it's usually more of us. Yeah, and I was like, me and Patrick, uh, and that's because the rest, of the, the rest of the team are kind of working very hard on a, on a nah, just a little movie. A little indie film. A little mm -hmm. indie film that's coming out at the end of next year. Um, so I, I see there's some like younger kids, younger fans at the young front. Ones. Anyone fancy actually sitting up here with us yeah. today and help us out with the presentation? If you do, put, you, if you... Yeah. Oh well, those two. <laughs> this guy here, yeah, you go right there, and there, Absolutely. yeah. Why don't you come up? Come on up. You come up, and yes, you two. Thank you. Thank you. I need two. Thank you so much. Anyway, coming up here, Link, or are you Robin Hood? Me. <laughs> <laughs> come right over there. Come sit next to me. Let's move this out the way. And this is where. Never work with animals and children. Here's the animal. Right here. What's your name? Diego. Hey, Diego. How are you doing? You all right? Having a good time? Is that on for Diego? Say hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Uh, it's Diego, everyone. Hi, hey, Diego. And what's your name, young man? Uh, my name is George. That's awesome. George, say hi to the crowd. Hi, George. It went up. <laughs> yeah. 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 A good, strong name there, George. I love it. All right. Okay. So, we're going to kick, we're gonna kick off. I'll kick off. You're going to have to help me because I'm rubbish at this. All right, Diego. All right. Okay. So, let's start off with some news. I'm sure many of you will be tuning in tonight to watch uh, Resistance. Yeah. 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 Like 10 o'clock, isn't it? Yeah. 10 o'clock? Okay. So Resistance, Resistance will be um, airing tonight, and you may or may not have seen that we, uh, we revealed some of our figures. We're going to kind of just recap so everyone who hasn't seen it can see them before we get into some new reveals. So Resistance um, airing tonight, and our new figures will be out in Spring 19. Um, do you like those, Diego? Yeah, the golden one. Do you like the golden one? All right, well, I like the golden one too. So, we got Kaz, and I love his hair. I know some people have made a comment that he's like got the same hair as me. He's not, it's not great, right. it's just shaved. Right. Um, we got Toradoza, we got Sonara, we got Major Von Reg. Do you reckon he's good or bad? Bad hair. Yeah, I think you're right as well. Uh, Gold Commander Pyre, which is Diego's favorite, everybody. So, Mum, wherever you are. Whatever, make sure you get lots of those for Diego. And a Stormtrooper as well. So there are Fingle, uh, fingle figures? Single figures <laughs> instead for Resistance, as I say, will be coming out in the spring. We also have some double packs. So our double packs, this is cool. We've got Poe Dameron and BB-8. You like BB-8? Yeah. You know, I'm gonna do this all the time. You okay with that? <laughs> yeah, that's good, so you're doing brilliantly. George, are you okay over there? Yeah. <laughs> we'll get some stuff for George. Yeah, George. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then we got Jaeger and Bucket. And as you can see, Bucket, when I saw that reference, I was like, oh, thanks. How am I going to make that out of plastic and three and three quarter inches? It'll be in, in cuts and through cuts and under cuts and every other way you can cut it. He was a challenge, but uh, he's a great new character. You know, George, you're going to like him. He's cool. All right, all right. Yeah. And yeah, just, just humor me, George. So um, in terms of talking about fun and funky, we kind of showed some stuff on our Microforce, which is our, uh, our little squishy. Oh, what is that? I said squishy. No, I said squishy. Yeah. I say squishy all weekend. And he says squishy. Means. Like, why can't work it way, out? Right? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. So as the, um, as the year is wrapping up, we announced our, uh, our Microforce advent calendar, which comes with 24 little cute little figures. A load of chase figures. And of course, our sort of holiday themed figures. So you'll get a Porg with a Santa hat. What more could you, what more could you wish for? Yeah. You know? Ooh, yeah. George is very happy about that. George, George Lucas, I mean, George, not you. <laughs> <laughs> Both Georges. You're more important, George. 
Um, okay, so um, this is going very well. We're gonna have to get this back on the rail. Today. All right, where are we going now? It's fine. So um, that's Microforce. If you haven't got that already, go and get it. Absolutely. All right. Okay. All righty. Um, so next, we're gonna recap uh, our desk sides for Black Series. Yeah, and here's some applause. Yay! Yay! My favorite of all the colored series. Um, so we had a great, like I mentioned, we had a great uh, Thursday uh, with fan sites and media outlets. We walked through our Fall 18 line. We've got some great items in store right now. Force Effects Riot Baton, this Darth, yeah, you can see them all there. This Darth Vader helmet. Uh, we've got Dubacks, Enthus Nest Speeders, Vintage Assault Tanks, uh, new Black Series and Vintage Figures. So we walked through those. We also recapped some items that had been revealed, but we're showing for the first time here in the U.S. You can see up there, right there in the middle, uh, Han Solo in his Min Band Trooper outfit, uh, and Dryden Voss from Solo, A Star Wars Story. Both of those were revealed outside the U.S. in uh, Canada and Mexico, shown for the first time here in the U.S., really exciting. And then you can see those beautiful Force Effects lightsabers. We revealed those at San Diego Comic-Con, but showed them for the first time here, and those are on pre-sale right now. So if you like the uh, cut of the jib of those lightsabers, uh, head to all major retailers. They're pre-selling them right now, which is cool. Um, and we had some new reveals on Thursday, never seen before, which we'll talk through right here. So the first is our archive line. So archive is our line of greatest hits, or Hall of Fame Black Series six inch figures. Basically, I've given this spiel so many times, but um, we talked with fans like you here at conventions at San Diego Comic-Con and other cons uh, who said, I love what you're doing with the Black Series, which is very nice to hear. Um, but you said, but you put out the main characters five years ago when it launched, Luke Skywalker, Boba Fett, you know, how can I get those because they're selling for hundreds of dollars on the aftermarket. So, yeah, so we said that's a great point. We thought about re-releasing them in the original packaging, but then for people who bought them, that wouldn't be fair to them. So we released a new line of archive figures. You're seeing the line look right here. We announced our first wave of 2019 uh, at San Diego Comic-Con. On our live stream on Friday, you can find it on YouTube, we went into a deep dive for the packaging, which was really cool. And we also revealed our Wave 2 uh, for 2019. We see them up on the screen here. The first one is Anakin Skywalker. Very cool. Uh, I think the most expensive Black Series figure on the aftermarket. Like I lost one, it was like $120. Exactly, crazy. Now available in the archive for 20 bucks, which is great. So, great uh, example of Sorry, the photos. <laughs> Great example of the photo reel deco uh, that we're applying to these figures for the first time. Anakin will come with his, you know, slightly nicer Jedi face, uh, and then the red George, eyes Sith George, face. George, do you like Anakin when he's nice or when he's evil? Um, I would have to say when he's like before he becomes evil. Aww. Your parents are very happy yeah. to hear you say that. Yeah. <laughs> There we go. Dare I ask you, Diego, do you prefer Anakin when he's a good Jedi or an evil Sith? Probably the evil Sith was fairly yeah. 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 being honest yeah. here. Yeah. Diego, <laughs> see that, that, that cliche coming a mile away. In terms of, uh, he's going to go bad. Well, okay. everyone knew he was anyway. Yeah. Absolutely. Carry on, Patrick. Moving on. So that's Anakin Skywalker, Luke's uh, real father. We also said, well, we should probably bring back Luke's what I like to call spirit or force father, which is Yoda. So we're bringing Yoda into the archive. Uh, great figure, uh, highly sought after, great sculpt. And Stephen yeah. talked a lot about how the story yeah, was Yoda, great. Yoda was a good one for me because Yoda's a sweet spot. It's like a main character, super popular, going for a decent amount of money in the secondary market. And I'll be honest, the sculpt was good, but the deco wasn't when we first released them. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't rate it that highly. So the ability to bring photo real technology to Yoda, I think, is perfect. Large eyes, got all the grooves and wrinkles and creases. We can get a really good George. We can get a really good look for Yoda. We can make this you, the you best Yoda, the best <laughs> Yoda ever. Absolutely. And then for our final slot for Fall of '19, we released Yoda and Anakin in our mainline assortment. Uh, but we've also released figures in other places, in convention exclusives, in higher price points. So we decided to bring back the Biker Scout Trooper. Uh, who was originally released with a speeder bike at $40. Maybe that price point was too high, so we're bringing him into the $20 archive assortment. Uh, Army Builder, really cool looking trooper. Uh, so that is our archive wave for Fall of 19, which was very exciting. Uh, but we also had some of our exciting Black Series six inch figures, including this guy right here, yeah, yeah. Obi-Wan Kenobi in his clone trooper armor. So this one was really cool. So we're in a golden age of Star Wars where we've got so much entertainment, um, and we're really inspired by the animated entertainment. We're, we're, we're 
Slowly uh, completing our ghost crew from the Rebels Entertainment. Uh, but, and Clone Wars is coming back in 2020. We're super excited about that. Yeah, I, saw, I saw a little dab right there. A that's nice. that's awesome. Come on to dab. Uh, <laughs> uh, but we went even further back than that to the Tartakovsky. Easy for you to so. oh, nice. Tartakovsky animation. This guy looks so cool, uh, so we wanted to bring him into Black Series. Uh, as you know, Black Series takes animated figures and does them in a realistic styling. So this is Obi-Wan, uh, Ewan McGregor, in his epi episode three look uh, with that great clone armor. Uh, really cool looking, uh, we're really excited about him. I so, that. Absolutely, I know. Hello, Hello Obi-Wan. <laughs> what do you think, George? You like him? I love him. I love him. Hey. Hey. George, 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 I know you you can have him next year. That's that's perfect, George. Um, so that was, yeah, <laughs> George's parents are like, this is not good. George has seen this. George wants a lot of this. Um, so that was an exciting reveal at our desk size, but we had an even bigger one, both literally and figuratively. That Steve will tell us about. I, yeah, I will. So prequel. So prequel. Who loves the prequels? Hands up. Come on. Yeah. 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 Okay, don't be shy. Yeah, Diego loves prequels. So we're seeing a lot more prequel love, and as we've mentioned, we've got some Black Series prequel reveals to make. Not today. But, no, I know, I know. It's coming. And I'm like, all right, George. Security, security. Keep it going, George. So we'll be revealing those between now and the end of the year. But one we did reveal um, um, the last couple of days was one that I have been asked for, the team has been asked for, many, many times. And it is the one that I get pinned up against the wall. George, people get me up against the wall and they say, Oi, Evans, make this figure. Where is it? George, can you, can you guess who's big and tall from the prequels? I'll give you a clue. Make you suffer. <laughs> oh, we didn't want to make you suffer anymore. We thought we'd give you what you wanted. Old Commander Dab down here knows exactly who that is. Who is it? Shout out loud. That's right. Yeah, General Grievous. So yeah. General Grievous will be with us in the spring. Finally, George. Goodness me. Um, will, be bring, will be with us in the spring of 19. Seven inches tall. Um, incredible soft goods. Um, comes with little pockets in, the, in his cape so he can put his, uh, his uh, Jedi hilts, the lightsaber hilts in there. Um, the coolest thing about this is that the arms actually snap together so you can have two-arm version or four-arm version, depending on how you want to do it. And he came to us... Um, eventually because we had to create a new price point for him. He's twenty nine ninety nine because of all the soft goods, all the complexities and the size. We tried to get him in nineteen ninety nine, but we just couldn't get him in to that price point. And I didn't want to do him badly. I'd rather do him complete with the, with the soft goods and stuff. So he ushers in a new era of larger than life Star Wars figures that we'll be able to bring with bring to you. I have no excuses anymore by saying, oh, it's just it's just too big. I can't do it. Um, and also clearly ushering our new prequel um, reveals, which we'll be looking at shortly. Which, and one of them, as I keep saying, is probably one of my favorite applications of photo reel I've ever seen. I love it. So that's General Grievous. Absolutely. All righty. So, you know, good panel so far. I'm seeing some happy faces. But I know you guys are like, this is great. You're recapping this. We've read about it already online. Where are the new reveals? So those start now. Who's excited for those? <laughs> Reveals. These are actually, yeah, I love it, George. Love the enthusiasm. So these are actually our first reveals of the weekend for our mainline Black Series assortment. So as mentioned before, so many different entertainment sources these days. So our next figure, George is going to read it off for us, comes from a brand new entertainment source for Black Series. George, can you read those two words right there? No. <laughs> Let me wait for a few. Dr. Afra. Yeah! That is awesome. Alrighty. So Dr. Afra, obviously a great figure uh, from the comic books. This is New York Comic Con. What better place to reveal it? Um, so the character is only a few years old, but has gained a huge following. Uh, we actually did a vintage collection, our other favorite fan line. Uh, fan vote, last year at Celebration, she won, was the top choice among fans. We did her in vintage, we early released her this past year at San Diego Comic Con. So all of our Black Series fans were like, well where is she for Black Series? I'm seeing the nodding heads. So there she is right there. She's really cool. The helmet and vest are removable uh, to get different looks because each artist draws her differently. Uh, so the portrait was created from multiple sources. 
Um, and for the cynical ones out there, uh, it is not a direct copy of our three and three quarters inch figure. It actually has uh, different, uh, and perhaps better, detail and articulation. So Dr. Affer, really excited to get her into the line. So uh, what, what I'm going to do now yeah. is like, the, you know, Diego and George are up here, and they're not, they're not really doing much. <laughs> now you're doing wonderful. So what we thought, we, you know how we always have our prototypes on show when we have a booth, but we don't have a booth. So we've got a new system. It's called the Diego and George sees all the prototypes before anybody else in the entire planet. Ooh. So, and those of you in the front row can probably get some shots as well. So, um, <laughs> Diego, you can't keep this, all right? You've got to give it back, but you Boom. get to look at it. You can spin it round, but be very, very careful. Very careful. Put it on there. People home in Rhode Island are like, their hearts are beating right now. You can, you can kind of check it out and Absolutely. either give thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever yes. you want to do. And as we move through, George, you'll have some too to Absolutely. look at, all right? And we, Appreciate your review. You're a reviewer, all right? Yeah, you'll have to look okay. if it's good or bad. All right, Patrick, who's, who else? All right, this? so you may notice only one third of the screen is being taken up right now, and that's because wherever Dr. Afra goes, her assassin droids are sure to follow. Yes! So are triple zero and BT one! <laughs> So Triple Zero has articulated elbows from our four lawn figure, uh, hands that have posable figures so they can now grip, and adjusted leg length to the correct height, which is fantastic. Well, yeah, let's get George into the action there. There we go. What do you think, George? So, perfect. That's our best review ever. That's awesome. We should. Do, I know, right? Um, BT1. Mr. Evans is getting him out. He has Ooh. revised pop-out of body arms with new Ooh. weapons. So again, refinements for this collection. Um, so he's going to show out oh, there. He's going to go down really quick because Diego is getting jealous. <laughs> so these are coming in summer of 2019. New Black Series figures, Dr. Afra with her assassin droids. Uh, so those are our mainline reveals. I'm going to hand it over to my friend Mr. Evans for some new exclusives. Got a couple of exclusives. Reveals. Yeah, got a couple of exclusives to show you. Um, it's really cool doing um, doing stuff from you know comics and TV shows in different places. And we found a we found a bit of a left fielder um, that's that's actually present in a TV show and a video game that we think is really cool. So we thought we'd bring this to life. Um, it's from you. You'll see this in uh, Diego. Already knows what it is. We've seen you see this in <coughs> Rebels, and you'll also see it in Battlefront too. Um, I love this figure. It's such a cool figure. Yeah. Oh. Rocket Trooper. Rocket Trooper. Commander Dad likes that one. You can, you can tell that one was big. So we have that, and and so oh, a lot of people have noticed this stand. They go, "Well, what's this stand thing?" So we're going to pack in these new stands that Patrick is useless at putting together. <laughs> you got it. Um, we got this new this new triangular stand, and we kind of come up with a new idea for this, where instead of like holes and pegs. We've got this, I call it a slipper, which everyone laughs at me about. <laughs> Clearly, that's just a prototype, doesn't work properly. But um, we're going to pack these in with um, some of our exclusives to kind of see what, see what people think. And so when you get hold of these, you know, please give us feedback, say, the stands are great, or the stands are rubbish, it doesn't matter. We kind of just use exclusives sometimes to kind of test things out. So there's a triangular shape which allows a little bit more um, center of balance. It works better than, we found it works better than a circle to kind of get more dynamic poses, and it also allows um, figures to kind of be in more battle mode, so you can kind of like slot them next to each other. So look for those in our exclusives going forward. So that's our Rocket Trooper. Now, if you remember, who went to San Diego and Comic-Con last, uh, no, Hascon, sorry, Hascon last year. First of all, I should ask, who went to Hascon last year? Yeah. Fantastic, well done. And San Diego, you all, all recognize this. So this was our 40th anniversary a New Hope diorama that uh, my team spent far too long building. <laughs> far too much of their own time and work time building this, but they, had a, they did such a great job. And there were lots of Easter eggs in this diorama. And um, one in particular I kept getting pestered about. After they beat me up about Grievous, they then uh, took another slapping on, on this other little thing that people noticed in a, in a certain trash compactor. So we thought we'd make it real. So we're gonna bring, we're gonna bring our wet head, wet head Luke, George. It's a wet head Luke. Um, or officially known, Luke Skywalker, Stormtrooper disguise, um, is covered in gunge. Because the trash compactor is not nice, George. It is stinky, it really stinks. So um, this will be a Target exclusive in spring 19. 
<laughs> and he sure could be a self yeah. <laughs> All right, I need a drink, so I'm going to steal yours. Uh -huh. Okay. Steal yours. <laughs> so let's talk a little bit about vintage. We, um, our last couple of days, we announced a couple of figures that we're uh, doing, and we've got a couple more to announce today. Um, let's have a quick recap. At the live stream, we showed our Han Solo in Stormtrooper Disguise. New uh, portrait sculpt based on the Legacy 2009 figure with a new upper torso and a new sculpted helmet. We also announced that we are going to bring back the 41st Elite Corps um, figure, which um, I, I've said this before, third time lucky, or third, third's the charm? Third time lucky, um, what's that? I don't know, what's it, what's it third time the charm? Third time's the charm, third time right? the charm. Yeah. So the first time we released this way back, um, the deco was all over the place. They didn't have, we didn't have the, uh, the shins, we didn't have the leg deco, and then when we corrected that, we brought it back and by some, Somehow it only got kind of released in international markets. So we're going to kind of solve that and bring that back, proper deco, um, into the US market with um, properly colored gloves and belt. It's the little things that matter. George, it's the little things that matter, all right? So, yeah, there you go. So, uh, so there we are. So we're bringing those two. So we got those two. We also um, revealed and sort of discussed our packaging, because we all know that vintage packaging is just as important in some cases than the, the product itself. So we went back and we, uh, we dug back into the archives of Lucasfilm and we found the Klaatu, Klaatu skiff guard artwork, uh, or the original photograph, which unsurprisingly, I suppose, was cropped really tight to Klaatu. So back in the day, Kenner would have to create this, this top piece here. And, there, and, and Diego, there was no Photoshop in 1983. No. How is a very good question. A lot of hand painting, sort of transparencies and flooding and, and just airbrush, airbrushing. You heard of airbrushing? Yes. Okay, good. It's very retro. Um, so they had to make those. So when we had our packaging department look at this, they said, hey, we can make that background look absolutely perfect. We can CG in the, the barriers and the railings and we can get it looking really, really cool. And we were both looked at each other and went, no, no, you've got to make it look pretty rubbish. Make the card look rubbish, like it was in like 1983. And, it, and that's what I love about the vintage collection um, packaging, is it has this sort of, I use the word cobbled together look. And even new stuff you see there on our left, our Scarif Trooper, we didn't have film outs when we originally started this um, after, uh, after Rogue One. So we have to use sort of set photography and studio photography, and we blend them together, much like they had to do in Kenner in 1983. Lots of things change, Diego. Some things don't. <laughs> right. good, good life remember Steve. that, remember that, yeah. <laughs> Uncle Steve. Um, so we also talked about uh, Yak Face of Salt Marai and uh, Leia Bush. Uh, Leia will, of course, come with a separate bubble for a helmet. Any character that has a Kenner separate bubble back in the day will have it in the new line. And um, Yak Face was probably the, as many of you know, my favorite, one of my favorite figures, but oh, he was a pain in terms of getting this packaging done because the image that was used for the original 1985 um, uh, card back doesn't exist. Couldn't find it. Lucasfilm couldn't find it. We couldn't find it. We could have scanned an old card if it, and you get this weird moiré effect that happens. Um, so we found clearly a photograph that was taken about 12 seconds later because the difference is he had his arm down in the one on Kenner, but 12 seconds later he obviously went like that and they took another photo. So I've got that one. So we had to use that photograph and then digitally paint in his arm down. It's all in the detail, don't you go? It's all in the detail, all right? So remember that as well. So, um... <laughs> Second life lesson with Steve. <laughs> you should get your couch. Um, so <laughs> there, we have, there we have our packaging. So the other thing we, uh, we've noticed is that the, as people are, I'm seeing people buy a lot of stuff at the barge. They're going out, they're getting onto buying secondhand kind of figures and skiffs and all these kind of stuff. And they're, they're, they're getting ready for the barge. I liken it to getting a nursery ready for a new baby. Uh, don't worry, the new baby's coming in February for those of you who ordered it. Who ordered a barge? Oh, thank you so very, very much. I really appreciate it. So um, we thought we'd uh, re-release and make sure that the Gamorian Guard is, is available for everyone, rather than having to kind of go and, yeah. go and pay other people. Uh, but it's a lot, lot easier to get off. This will be a shared retail exclusive going out, but it's, this will not have its number changed. This will still be BC21. Yes, BC21. Um, and we have more plans to bring in more figures and things to help decorate your barge with in the, in the uh, coming, coming Future, but well, we won't be talking about that nope. today. Oh, Later, yeah. not quite. 
but we will be talking more about the barge itself. So the barge is, you know, I think one of the best things, you know, in Star Wars all year. Like, it was fantastic, and it's all about you guys. You know, we've said this before, uh, we kind of like put it in place, but you guys made it happen. We're, we're so grateful and so just honored to be involved in this with you, which is great. Uh, and so as a result, we pick, we've been taking you on a journey, the barge backers behind the scenes, really for the very first time. Uh, we had a, a first update in May, uh, where we brought you up to speed with all of the development to date, uh, including the construction of our New York Toy Fair model, uh, exploded model view, the CAD, so a lot of different details there. And then July, our update there was all about deco and soft goods. We shared our final deco board. We shared, we actually made a small deco model uh, because it was so huge and so unprecedented. And we took you through our soft goods assembly process. And then last month was so exciting, it's when the barge kind of really started to become a reality. Uh, that's when we did tool start. Uh, we reviewed our check model with you. Uh, we had a video of our tool start, uh, 3D mold layout, etc. We will be sending out our next barge backer update next week, but we are sneak peeking it here today. So you are all seeing it for the very first time and it's all about the packaging. As my friend Mr. Evans said, vintage, the packaging is as important as the product. It's so iconic, so true. Yes, George knows it. He's a packaging <laughs> fiend. George. So that's what this George is. fit in the packaging, by the way. Everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that's true, yeah. No, you, we might as well, like, not all at the same time, but it's big. I think people are going to be pleasantly shocked when they receive it. Uh, but, so today we're gonna share behind the scenes of the photo shoot uh, for the image that will go on the packaging. You will be the first to see the image that goes on that packaging. Uh, we'll give you a first glimpse into the rough draft, etc. So first, the photo shoot. We have some images from that photo shoot. So here you can see, obviously, you're, you're the first to see. The barge packaging photo will have the Sarlacc pit there. You can't have Jabba's sail barge without the Sarlacc pit. So each of those tentacles was molded separately and actually contained a wire that allowed us to bend them into position. So a lot of time went into getting that perfect Sarlacc position. Oh, we could tell George that they're just trained worms. Yes. George, we trained eight worms to pose. It's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> George isn't as excited about that. George is older than his years. <laughs> you brought him up well. <laughs> so that's our Sarlacc pit. Um, up next, you can see. So Mark Boudreau there, Star Wars legend. Yeah, let's Woo! give it up for Mark. Welcome to home. So he is a Star Wars design legend. He designed this. This is his greatest achievement to date. Uh, so he is not far whenever there's barge happening. Uh, so he, he literally there, he opened the shutters um, and we, we all just defer to Mark. So he said, this is exactly how the shutters have to be. And we said, fantastic, Mark, we're glad you're here. So that was that. Uh, and then our next image, uh, obviously you can't have Jabba's sail barge without his court of denizens. So here you can see the lucky characters that made the final photo shoot. So I could keep talking and showing images, but we actually have a video summarizing that photo shoot. And we're actually, we're showing the director's cut here today. The one that will go out in the update is one minute long. You're watching the minute Three and, and a half, half version. Hours. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Settle in, we've got some popcorn now. Um, so yeah, let's all stop jabbering. Let's uh, watch it. So we have a look right now.
just one small part of the process, right? This is just, this doesn't even have to do with the actual product. This is just the image that goes on the packaging. It's but, just the box. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but so many people involved, so much time. Uh, we're so passionate about it, so we're happy to share that with you today. Um, so now you have a sense of the diorama shot that's going to go on the front of the pack, but what about the rest of the packaging? So you can see here, as we set out to design this package, this is photography. Just, just on that page, just to be clear, so that the, the, the kind of quirky bad sketch is going to be on the back of the pack, yeah. just, to, just to make that clear. And um, you know, we, we're staying very it's true to the original, yeah. yeah, very true to the original. So uh, yeah. someone's having fun drawing that at the moment. <laughs> Sorry, Patrick, Karen. No worries. So you can see on the next slide, uh, we had different kind of panels, uh, so top panel, bottom panel. Uh, calling out different features of the barge. Again, this is a collector item, but the heritage of those vintage items is that, you know, obviously they were kid-focused toys 40 years ago, um, and so they called out those features, kind of uh, glorifying the product. Um, so these kind of show you the inspiration for our front panel, back panel, and our top and bottom panels. Um, we have more updates coming out. Uh, our next one after this one will be probably in two months before the holidays, and there we will share the final actual packaging uh, that you all will be receiving uh, with the barge ships in February. All right. Um, so that's a big vintage item. We have a slightly smaller but no less cool vintage tank. That indeed, you're talk indeed. About. So the, the um, so we uh, released our vintage tank to the uh, to the to the retail um, just a month or so ago, or about now. And I'm really happy with the response from it um, in terms of uh, the amount of detail and stuff that Mark's really got onto it. I think he set a new standard for vintage collection. Um, quality and um, there will be many more vintage collection vehicles we're working on uh, a few right now which we will be revealing quite soon um, so you'll be able to make up your your, your oh, I'm losing my words Diego make up your assault tank with your uh, driver and your new stormtrooper that's going to be coming out soon and um, but there is one one little thing missing from this you've got a driver but oh, you need a blooming commander don't you so we're going to we'll release the commander into mainline so you can complete your assault tank. Diego gets to pop, push and prod that one. There you are. Um, so in turn, it is smaller. It's a different scale, Diego. Yeah. This is this is for like this is three and three quarter inch when they were originally produced back in the late 70s. They were that high, and then about five years ago, four or five years ago, we introduced this larger scale. Which scale do you like better? Oh, this is controversial, one. Diego. Should I? Uh, Diego likes the big ones. All right. All right. <laughs> Um, so, in terms of Spring 19, these are our reveals so far. Um, so you can see a variety of stuff going on there, some for the barge, some from Solo, some kind of from, from uh, the original trilogy. Um, but there is one family member that we want to add to this um, uh, for our final reveal today. And that is, um, it needs to kind of, I guess it's, it needs to project into, into this, uh, into this uh, family group shot. And that is, of course, Luke Skywalker. So. Finally, so we've got Luke Skywalker crate. Now, George, don't break this. Yeah. All right, so Luke Skywalker crate, as you can see there, um, coming to the main line in 2019. It's gonna be numbered VC146, and he's mean, isn't he? Yeah. What do you mean he looks like Chuck Norris? <laughs> so we wanted to reveal him today here. Um, so just to kind of catch up where we are on vintage, in terms of spring, we're nearly all the we've nearly revealed everything. We've got eight more, eight, one, two, three, yeah, eight more to reveal, um, which we will be doing soon, probably towards the end of the year, maybe into the early part of next year. Um, all of those eights will be original trilogy figures, and then as we move into full nineteen with a certain big film at the end of the year, we'll start revealing what we can um, beginning next year. So we will see you next year for more vintage collection reveals. Absolutely. All right, so the last part of our, pre yeah, yeah, let's go. Yeah. So last part here, just a couple housekeeping items, uh, and then we'll have time for Q&A. Um, so vintage collections. So we talked at the beginning of this panel about the archive. Uh, that was basically for Black Series 6 inch, bringing those key figures back into the line uh, in a new evergreen uh, packaging. But same situation exists for vintage. We want to bring new vintage fans into this uh, line, uh, but that evergreen packaging already exists. Um, so it kind of uh, faced us with a quandary. Uh, so what we're doing, this is mainly for fans outside the US in other regions where vintage didn't necessarily get 10 years ago. Uh, so we will be very tightly releasing a few of those key figures, and we can show them now. 
Um, so we're not revealing these. These are not a reveal. <laughs> so we don't want to. We don't want to fool anyone into thinking we're revealing anything. We're going to change all the numbers. No, no, no. Nope. Nope. <laughs> same packaging. We're just making these available outside the U.S. and to some uh, specific kind of uh, retailers in the U.S. who want to reach those new fans. So these will be re-released uh, to bring those new fans in. Uh, not new reveals, uh, but but in exciting ways so that we can deliver kind of these main characters. You know, Luke. Leia, Darth Vader, kind of with that foundational to any collection, uh, to the fans who want to get into the vintage, but then of course we'll be making sure that all the new figures get to all fans out there. So, so again, just wanted to make everyone aware that these will be coming next year. On our last thing that we wanted to chat about, so uh, we announced at San Diego Comic-Con that we're taking the show on the road this year. Uh, Star Wars is a global phenomenon. Star Wars toys are globally beloved. Uh, and so we wanted to go out and share the love and meet those fans. So you can see up there, we went to uh, Mexico's Unboxing Toy Convention and Canada's Fan Expo. Uh, it was really great to meet the fans there, hear what they want, hear their opinions, and share a couple reveals from them. Uh, so later this month, we'll be continuing that. Uh, by heading across the pond to Paris Comic Con, MCN London, London Comic Con, and Luca in Italy. So again, we're really excited about that. If you're if you're watching this from those countries, come out and see us uh, here in the U.S. Make sure you're tuned in. We will be sharing a couple of reveals at each of those. Nothing big, nothing like this, but a couple at each event uh, in both Black Series and Vintage to again just share the love. So. That's very exciting. That's good. Well, yeah. b before we wrap up, I kind of want to say a big thank you to probably my my bestest friends in the whole world, and that's George and Diego. <laughs> so a big hand for George. And clearly, I am not taking those Darth Vader helmets home because they are far too big and hot. So George, that one next to you, that Vader helmet, you get to keep that one. <laughs> and then, um, no, I mean, oh yeah, 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 you get to keep that one as well. So big hand for George and Yeah. And I think we, we somehow got through that, even with the delay, uh, in good time. So we have 10 minutes for uh, Q&A. So I'm not sure, is there a microphone back there? Is that how this works? Otherwise you can shut it up. We're, we have no ears here. So I think I saw that hand right there go up first. Yep. Can you put my front? Sorry, I think what I heard is, is it possible that we'll be making any Jar Jar action figures in the future? Darth Jar Jar. Uh, we are, our standard line is that, and it's true in this case, you know, if we're not revealing it here, uh, we can't speak to any future figures, because uh, then that would spoil the excitement when we do reveal it. But certainly we look to all sorts of inspiration, so never say never. Um, yes, right there up in the front, sir. Uh, yeah, I was just wondering about the release date for the murder bots. They had after on the list, I didn't see that. The release date for the murder. Oh, oh, same timing. So summer of 2019. They'll all, they'll all come out in the same way. They belong together. Is it a box or? Uh, no, three normal Black Series six inch figures. Oh uh, yeah, right there, sir. Um, after the incredible success, obviously, of the barge with HasLab, um, is there any indication as to whether there'll be a second HasLab in our future? And is there any hint as to what that might be? Absolutely. So, uh, similar answer. Uh, we're not revealing it today, but you know, you can draw your own conclusions. The first one did extremely well, so we'd have to be, you know, is idiots there no, not to follow is there it up. No hint. You can give nothing. No, no hint, sadly. But you are working on something. I can't specifically <laughs> say anything. But you've still got a job. Very good at this. What's that? You've still got a job. All I'll, say, yeah, exactly. all I'll say, what we're working on is pretty impossible. <laughs> as all has lab art. Yes, sir, right there. Uh, two questions. The first, um, why don't you guys have a booth here and do exclusives here like you do in San Diego? Absolutely, that's a good question. Um, so we kind of look at all the conventions and uh, we kind of uh, choose which ones are kind of larger and so San Diego is a bit bigger. Uh, but this being said, and there are cons throughout the US, um, I think part of it is we did want to get outside the U.S. and connect with those global fans, uh, but we did certainly want to have a presence here at New York Comic Con and engage with the fans here, which is why we do do the panel, the live stream, etc. And the second question, the archive figures, non-human characters, 
Is there going to be any difference from the archive ones to the originals that people had already gotten? Yeah, so I'll try to answer this. I think some of them will have photo real deco, right? Like well, it depends. Yoda will? Well, yeah, it, it depends. So if you've got like a helmeted character, they yeah. Like characters anything. like Je yeah. uh, Boba Fett, yeah. IG-88? They, they will be the same. We'll try to improve deco, like kind of mask lines if we need to, but in, in essence they will be the same. But they'll be up for the first time in five years, which is cool. Yes, right there. Um, with the OB, one with the clone armor, are you going to fix the elbows with it? The fix the elbows with the Obi-Wan in clone armor? I think he's a new... I, I, I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest there. I don't know actually. I want the elbows too much on that one. So, sorry. Can't answer that one. We'll take that back to the team and, and see what's up about that. Uh, yes, right there, sir. Uh, not the Toys R Us style business. Are you guys gonna have like an exclusive for like Target? I mean, I saw that you had like Walgreens, your Target. Are those gonna be like, exclusive for those stores or? Absolutely, yes. Yeah. So we, we talked about exclusives. We know that's a hot button issue. Uh, exclusives are kind of a way for us to get out a more expansive line. We get out items and exclusives that we couldn't get out in mainline. We've had Target and Walgreens exclusives, Walmart exclusives, etc. We will continue to have those in the future. Yep. Yes, young man right there. Um, um, are you going to make any um, Star Wars ships? Star Wars vehicles. Uh, yeah, absolutely, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, yes, we, we are. We're going to make. I, we're working on a we can't few. Yeah. No, I'm not gonna say <laughs> I've been doing this long enough to know. We've been doing this longer than I have. So yeah. yes, we will. Yes. We will. What's your favorite ship? What do you want us to make? Oh, for, for the little guys or for the big guys? For a six-inch scale. <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> So we will be bringing out the Hero Series scale. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no well, thank you very much. We'll do our Good very, very best. best. Yes, sir, right there. Yep, you. Yep. Uh, first of all, thank you so much for giving the Black Series line the new face deco. Oh, nice. I mean, it's amazing. Yeah. Every figure has been better than the last one. I just got the Dustin Escape Leia. It's like the best Leia figure you guys have made. Yeah, thank you. So thank, thank you. you. Uh, you're welcome. Um, and I've also been enjoying the new Imperial officers that have been coming out. So it's nice to have those up on the shelf yeah. and informing them. Fears. I don't, yeah, fears. I'm trying to get my hands on. Um, I don't know if you can answer this, but is there any chance you're going to do a similar thing for like Rebel Pilots? Sort of start building out some more of those characters. Like maybe a Biggs or Wedge, Blue Leader, stuff like that. Porkins. 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 Wedge. Porkins. Photo real Porkins. That's what we call a yes. Photo real Porkins. Have a guess what I'm going to say. Yeah. I can't say it right now. Please consider it. I will very much consider it. If you could, would you do them all? I would do all. I would do every one. We would do the entire Star Wars unit. I actually want to do Biggs. I actually want to do Biggs. I want to get a moustache going on. I want to try out. I want to try out. Photo real with a moustache. Photo real touch. Um, but no, just a quick yeah. note on photo real. We love it too. That that was kind of the biggest thing that fans talked to us about at conventions was like, you know, the sculpts are great, this is great, that. But like the face deco just isn't quite there. So I think we were just really happy to take that kind of biggest pain point and turn it into something you guys love. So thank you. Absolutely. Oh, thank you. That's so nice. Yes, up in the front. Hello, Brittany. Uh, okay. uh, <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. no, that's a great question, absolutely. We are looking, we know that Star Wars is a rich universe of men and women, and we are absolutely looking to bring them in in all forms, so, absolutely. Uh, yes, right there. All right, first of all, I would buy a Jorah Sabah figure. So oh, thank that you. One. Take that one up. Um, <laughs> secondly, I also buy Jar Jar Binks. But that's, we're up to four. For my we're group, I put that out there. That's awesome. Um, the question I have is the archive collection cards, how do they compare to the um, 40th anniversary cards? Are they the same size or smaller? I think they're a, it's a good question. I think they're a smidge smaller. I think they're slightly, I think they're slightly, I think they're slightly shorter. Yeah. You held them up recently, I can't remember what they were. I'm yeah. sorry, I think they're sorry, a smidge smaller. I think the, the short answer is I think they're a smidge smaller. The larger answer is that we announced on our live stream that kind of we looked to the vintage card back as inspiration because that's a classic form and we want this to be our classic, I, but we didn't look for specific I, I, dimensions. I think they are because of the illustrations on the front actually has an insert list. You think they're the same list. size? Or no, I think they're smaller. Like smaller. Yeah, exactly. I mean, the illustrations are a different place. Yeah, we didn't want to wet ourselves to that. We wanted to make the best looking uh, art. Good, good question, yeah. Uh, right there in the front, sir. You've uh, announced that the barge is coming to Europe and outside of North America. Um, when are you going to, 
you've not announced where it's coming, no. but when are you going to be announcing to which retailers it will be coming? Are you still working on that? We are still working on it, so our answer is, is unfortunately the same. We've been saying all along, we are absolutely committed and we are planning to make this happen. We've been yeah. saying that all along. We don't have any specifics, but we are absolutely working when on you the do specifics. Your, uh, when you do your next one, will you have those retailers locked in for the next product secretly with them that is for the, the rest of the world? Yeah, that is the plan. I'll say yeah. it's the plan, not the hope. <laughs> but you'll talk, you'll, you'll talk with whoever you lock up with to lock it. Yeah, so it might be different points. avenues, yeah. but that yeah. is the plan. And for it's the not next necessarily a question of like, oh, we're thinking about it, we'll start doing yeah. it in a little but while. But you aim to do that with all future. Yeah. The ink is not even wet on, on no. the paper to be able to. Your aim is to reveal, it. release all future products that through that aim. system. That is, the, that is the need. And we, we will, that's a good question. We will, when that becomes solidified and yeah. firm, we will announce that. Oh, so, yeah. so you won't be left to kind of wonder, uh, have they figured it out? We're excited to announce yeah. those details because we, we absolutely want to bring that amazing item around the world. Yeah, Star Wars is made in England. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> oh, yeah. I see, made in England, weren't you, Steve? <laughs> I was made in England. Yeah. Yeah. It's on your foot. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. And uh, I want to know when will Wave 4, the, the Force Link guys, the, like the Beckett Wave, when will that be? Up? So Force Link Wave, I think later this fall, but we've had them. Okay. Yeah, so it should it should either be out or coming out. So it might be working its way through, but but it should be out or out soon. Yep. Is there anyone in the back that like has had their hand up for a while? Um, <laughs> yep, sir, right there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Are we going to have more Legends characters? Like a Joris Chabot, maybe. <laughs> yeah, so. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, so, yeah, thank you. So it's, um, yes is the answer. I can't say which ones we're looking at, but we've you know, been speaking with Lucasfilm and we appreciate there is a certain amount of demand for Legends uh, characters. And, you know, we're kind of able to kind of bring back out um, Darth Revan and, and things like that. So we're, the, the, the menu is getting wider in terms of what we can release. And obviously we're not going to kind of release all of them all at once because you have lots of lots of things to kind of be able to do but yes there will be more legends characters available to us and yes. you. Thank you. I think we have oh, time for one more question yep uh, who has had their hand up for a while I think sorry we'll touch base with you guys later I think you've had your hand up for a while yes last question uh, the eight remaining TBC figures will we know those by the end of the year no <laughs> but we're just, it's great. We don't want to like bring all the fun because then you don't have anything to look forward to. I wanted to. to bring all the fun. Yeah. So, <laughs> some of them will be really revealed later this year. Some of them early next year. Okay, amazing. Absolutely. All right. Thank you guys so much. You are amazing. We love seeing you guys. Feel free to come up with any questions. We're happy to chat. Thank you. There we go. Hope you enjoyed.